Big developments in Harvey Weinstein's sexual assault trial in downtown L.A. Governor Newsom's wife is back on the stand for more emotional testimony, and the judge dropped some of the charges against Weinstein. Let's bring in Elizabeth Wagmeister, Variety's chief correspondent. Elizabeth, you were in today's courtroom for the testimony. Uh, what do you think was the big revelation of the day? You know, the big takeaway from cross-examination today is that Weinstein's defense team brought up a series of emails. They were trying to indicate that Jennifer Siebel Newsom had remained in communication with Harvey Weinstein after this alleged sexual assault and rape. Now, Jennifer Siebel Newsom, who is, of course, wife to Governor Gavin Newsom, she said on the stand that it was all just business, that she is and was a filmmaker. Harvey Weinstein was the most powerful person in the industry then, and she wanted to control the situation, and she felt like this was her way to do it by remaining in contact and having a cordial relationship with him. Yeah, some would say that that sounds like victim shaming. Uh, 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 since you were in there, in that courtroom today, describe the emotion. What was that like? Because we know that it got very emotional yesterday. Was it very much the same today? You know, it was, Marla, but not until later in the day. We have all, you've probably read the reports from yesterday, as you're referencing now, that it was incredibly emotional. A lot of tears, sometimes hard to understand her yesterday during her testimony when she was describing this alleged incident. Now, today, she was really very composed in just answering the questions that were being shot at her from Weinstein's defense. But every time that details of the actual alleged assault came up, she got very emotional and in the last hour on the last few questions when the prosecution was redirecting and asking some questions specifically about the assault she got very emotional and was sobbing in fact when she ended her testimony which by the way was nearly two full days on the stand which is a long time she left the courtroom and was sobbing as she walked out of there um, you have some reporting on governor newsom's whereabouts during all this Yes, yeah, so I have learned from a source that Governor Newsom was at the courthouse in downtown L.A. both today and yesterday. He was there the entire time. He came because he wanted to support his wife, and I hear that he actually was planning to be in the room. He wanted to be sitting in the courtroom in the gallery to be supporting his wife, but by some court officials, he was not allowed to enter that courtroom. I could only imagine that's because they didn't want him to serve as a distraction to the Jury. He's obviously a very recognizable figure, not to say that she is not, but you could imagine that a lot of people on the jury would know who he is and it might distract from her testimony. But I do hear that he was there. He was in a room waiting. And every time that she took a break, she was in there with him. We know that, uh, as reported, that some charges were dropped against Weinstein today. How big of a deal is this, given that he's already in prison serving time? Yes, he is. He's in the midst of a 23-year sentence from his New York conviction. But, Marla, this is a very big deal. Four charges were dropped today. We have not been given any reasoning or explanation as to why, other than the prosecution is not proceeding with bringing Jane Doe 5 on the stand. That means that Jennifer Siebel Newsom, who was Jane Doe 4, is the last Jane Doe that we will hear from in the trial. But there is still about a month left to go in this trial. There's a long way to go. But this is a big deal because Weinstein before was facing 11 charges, which totaled to a possible maximum sentence of 140 years. Now I hear that he is facing around 60 years in total if convicted on all of these charges. So two rape charges were dropped within those four charges and forcible rape charges carry the most time. So it is significant. Although when you look at him, it's hard to imagine him uh, going for 80 more years um, when you add on the New York case as well. All right, so you said we've got a month left. Um, what are we going to be doing in that next month if we've already heard from all the accusers? Yeah, and Alex, by the way, to comment on your last comment, he is 70 years old. So, yes, he, he does not have any more years to go. Uh, but the next month, we still are hearing from some more witnesses, not Jane Doe's, but some uncharged witnesses who the prosecution plans to bring on the stand to help establish a pattern of behavior. We know that one of those women is going to be Harvey Weinstein's former assistant from Miramax, 
who allege attempted rape from the 90s at the Venice Film Festival. Her name is Rowena Chu. She'll be taking the stand. And then the prosecution, at some point in the somewhat near future, we imagine will arrest their case. And then we still have the defense's case, which will be much shorter than the prosecution, I imagine. But still, we have ways to go. And mind you, in a case that has been this long, it's likely going to take the jury a fairly long time to deliberate as well. Hmm. Okay, well, as you said, a month ago, that means we'll have to have you back. Yeah, more Elizabeth time to talk to you. Exactly. <laughs> Varieties, Elizabeth Wagmeister, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you both.